The following contains spoilers from the movie Spirited now streaming on Apple TV+. The most over-the-top sequence of Spirited wasn't supposed to happen. It was just a throwaway joke in the initial script. Yet the five-minute number called Good Afternoon has Ryan Reynolds singing with a bad Cockney accent, Will Ferrell tap dancing on a fallen wall, 40 other performers flooding a cobblestone street, and Dame Judi Dench making a self-referential cameo. We wanted to make this one the most comedic song in the film, says director Sean Anders of the show's stopping moment. It took a lot of work because it's so over the top and ridiculous and has so many moving parts, but it's just so much fun. The standout scene takes place midway through the meta movie musical, which retells a Christmas carol with more than a few twists. At this point, the story's resident Scrooge cynical media consultant Clint Briggs, Reynolds, frustrates the ghost of Christmas present, Farrell, by questioning whether overnight transformations actually work. The two are soon transported to Victorian London, where Clint and the audience learn that present was the original Ebenezer Scrooge of Charles Dickens' 1843 novella. He surely was redeemed by three ghosts that night, but he also died just weeks later. Anders says he and co-writer John Morris framed the reveal as a way to hearken back to Dickens' classic text, but also to set up a new tension. Present is trying to change this guy who believes people never change, but deep down, he has that same fear, because he isn't sure he ever really changed either. Clint then notices how the miserly grouch shuts down conversations with a stern greeting that shocks onlookers for its vulgarity. In the 1800s, Good Afternoon was a sick burn explains present. It more or less meant a few. Extremely graphic. I in reality, the innocuous phrase is not a historical insult. But it is what Dickens wrote Scrooge to shout at various other characters, and older versions of a Christmas carol from the 40s and 50s, use that vernacular, as if it were bad words, says Farrell. Reynolds suggested the joke be expanded into its own musical number in which Clint tries to entice Present to let loose and revert to his former unredeemed self. That song, a catchy combination of visual gags, internal rhymes and self-aware humor, leans into the fact that Ryan is an ace's troll in real life, and Will is so great at squirming and seeming uncomfortable, says Justin Paul, who wrote the tune in his songwriter's room of sorts, with Benj Pasek, Keen Hersey, Sakari Jones and Mark Sinenblik. We were all working together in a 20-page Google Doc every night recalls Hersey, trying to figure out the best lines possible, and making each other's jokes better and better. The elaborate set piece was filmed over four days on Boston's historic Marshall Street. It starts with Clint inciting chaos with a good afternoon at a pub. Present gives in, and the two sling the greeting at everyone around them. They interrupt a wedding, they curse a police officer. They shout in unison at a begging child plucked right out of Oliver. Dench suddenly strolls by and sings, just applaud them with decorum like your Judy Bloody Dench, a lyric written for Reynolds and Farrell, that the writers never imagined the screen legend herself would deliver. The rambunctious duo then lead an aggressive procession down a cobblestone street and launch into a quick tap dance atop a fallen wall. It was both actors' first time tapping, and since Reynolds and Farrell turned down dance doubles, they each worked with tap trainers Jason Lux and Jason Holy, respectively. The tap was the hardest nut for me to crack because you're really running up against the physical limitations of your own body, and that can be frustrating, says Reynolds. It's a unique discipline that isn't very forgiving because you're not just dancing, you're also an instrument, you're making a clean percussive sound that is integral to the song. Adds Farrell, other steps you can learn a quarter speed or half speed, and then go full speed. But tap, you have to go full speed from the beginning to get that sound, there's no baby steps. We ended up enjoying it, but we really pushed ourselves in ways we never thought we could.